Ozzy is loud. So, I did a thing. I did a thing. I did a thing. This is like a 1920s dress. my new microphone so i'm hoping that it works out good i'm in this loud ass car so y'all know the mozzie is loud so i did a thing i did a thing i did a thing my husband has been wanting to go to uh medieval medieval times for like the longest right and i'm gonna be honest with y'all that ain't my jish i ain't for no smell no horses and you know, I don't eat at zoos. If, if anybody knows me, you're not gonna see me eat food, like meat at zoos, because I ain't gonna lie. I be thinking it's the animals that didn't make it. Now I know that's a little bit strong and grotesque or whatever, but I just can't do it. So I said to myself, okay. So an ad came up on my phone about medieval time, right? So I'm like, you know what? This is the best time to do it. So I went on Retail Me Not, I sure did and found a discount code. And so I am surprising him and taking him to Medieval Times on Saturday. He doesn't know. And so what I'm going to do is, um, oh, my phone already, hold on. I don't know if that's better or not, but um, let me see, okay. And so um, I told him to meet me at this Renaissance store because um, I was gonna do like a, a YouTube uh, Renaissance, you know, something like that. I know he know I'm lying. Cause that ain't what I do. And so I'm gonna meet him over there at the Renaissance store just to pick out, you know, an outfit, but I already got mine off Amazon, so I'm good. And so I'm gonna say, well, why don't you just go ahead and try that on? And you know what, you wanna be a part of the video? You know, I'm, I'm gonna play it off like that. And then on Saturday, now y'all know I don't be doing no driving. I'm gonna have to drive to this place. So he don't have no idea, but knowing me, I'm gonna, gonna tell him myself, I'm gonna tell him what I'm doing. Cause that's just what I do. And so, um, yeah, so I'm stuck in traffic right now, and um, it says I'm going to get there about 4.56. Right now, it is, that, that's a lie. It's 4.51 now. Ain't no, ain't no way. I ain't going to make it. But anyway, so I'm on the way there now to meet him, to try on his little costume, jazz. So it's going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, this sun is really something. Thank you, man, you know, for covering me up. But hold on. Let me hold a little bit, a lot better. So that's what I'm gonna do right now is uh, meet him over there. But y'all, can we talk about it? Let's do a Candy Chronicle career conversation. Now y'all know I'm a supervisor now. And supervisor on the back end, I mean, they do a lot. So if you got a good supervisor, that's good. But if you got a raggedy one, handle your business. You know what I mean? That means go to HR if you need to or talk to other uh, member of leadership if you're not getting what you're getting. We already talked about that. So the question that I have for y'all today is if somebody is not performing, right? And they blame you. I'm not saying this is me. It's just I was talking to a bunch of other people today at work and they blame you. How do you respond back to that? For me, it will be quite simple. We're just gonna pull the stats and put your paper on the table and just do like this. Just lie the paper. <laughs> I ain't arguing with nobody. And so people need to take responsibilities for what they do. And I ain't gonna lie. Me, I gotta work. You know, it is what it is. We we can't eat, we can't play around with my funds. <laughs> I gotta work. So the people who don't come to work and it's always an excuse and then they're always blaming people and stuff like that. It's like, if you if you are a member of leadership, how do you all handle that? I have not had that experience yet and I know it's gonna come. I already know what I'm gonna do. 
but I just want to get other people's opinion about that. And then for those who are doing the complaining, why are you complaining when you know you're in the wrong? You know what I'm saying? If you want to move up in a corporation, a lot of things that leadership look at as far as like your attendance, how well, you know, you interact with other people. I know some jobs look at if you volunteer or not. Um, what is your overall attitude? You know what I mean? Because my whole thing is this. I don't want anyone to come to me and say, Miss Candy, you know, they call you Miss in Texas, child. When somebody was calling me Miss, I'm like, wait, what? So when they call you and um, they say, like, Miss Candy, I want to be an X, Y, and Z. I want to move up to a different department. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull your stats. Because I can't be recommending you and you know you ain't in the right. You know what I'm saying? And so after I pull your stats, you know, I have a conversation with you and I'll be like, you know what? There's some things we do need to work on. I'm tired of holding this thing now. It's some things that we do need to work on. So let's work on these things. Because my whole thing is I never want another department to contact me to say, hey, how is so-and-so? And I want to be able to like, oh, she's great or he's great. He comes to work on time. His stats are good. His quality is good. Blah, blah, blah. But I don't want to have to tell somebody, well, because you know if you start a conversation out with, well, you might as well go on to the next candidate because this one ain't going to work out. So that's just uh, a candy uh, chronicle of career today. It's like, what are your thought process on that? You know what I mean? And how would you handle that? Because you can't expect to go to the next level if you ain't even maintain the level that you're at. I'm just being honest. Me, I believe in giving everybody a fair chance and a fair opportunity. But if your record says something else, that's what I got to go by. Yeah, you can have the nicest personality, but, you know, personality is just not enough. You know what I mean? People are looking for stats nowadays. So, you know, I want to be able to help you out as much as I can. So, anywho, enough about that. You guys, don't forget to check out my latest videos. Um, you guys have been doing really good by me and checking them out. And shout out to um, Ebony Ebo. I mean, that she's amazing. Go check her channel out, Ebony Ebo. Ebony and then EBO. Go check her out. She's amazing. And so um, I've been doing what she asked me. Well, I've been doing what we agreed upon, like getting the videos out like twice a week if I can. Um, and oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, I'm going to be doing a swimsuit haul, y'all. Yep. I decided I'm going to go back to doing my try-on haul because you guys really do love those. And I'm going to start off with some swimsuit because, girl, I got so many darn swimsuits up in there. Ain't never been worn. Ain't even been open. But when they're a good deal, I just go out there and I grab them. So I'm going to do a cute little swimsuit haul for you guys. And, of course, I maintain uh, being covered up because I don't want to get, you know, striped on uh, YouTube, but make sure you guys follow that series. It's going to be my summer try-on um, try on haul or something like that, whatever it is. Just go on and subscribe now so you can be ready and hit that notification bell so you can be ready. So, I done did enough talking. I done did like eight minutes of talking, y'all. So let me go and put this phone down and uh, get through this traffic um, so I can get to this man and finesse him as far as... Uh, <laughs> Not for nothing, but you know, but to get him to think that it ain't about him, it's about me, which I'm good at that. And so, um, yep, so I'm gonna pick you guys up when we get to the Renaissance store. <laughs>
I'm looking for my husband. He should be here. Because his car is outside, the black Tesla. Let me call him right quick. Okay. Oh. I know it's a lot. It's like a warehouse. See the pants. Okay. What just done? Okay. And that's what you like? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. What's that? Dress. Cute. 1920s. I like stuff like that. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. How are you talking my language? It's really pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. Uh, I like that hat. What? Too short? The jacket is too small. Okay, guys. So um, we left the uh, costume shop. And um, this road's a little bumpy, so it's gonna be a little shaky. So let me just say this. So my husband got there before I did, right? No big deal. So I pulled up and I walk inside and um, the lady said, hi, can I help you? And I'm like, oh, I'm here, you know, cause my husband is uh, looking for a costume. Your husband, there's nobody here. I said, he is here because his car is in the, in the drive in the um, parking lot. So at this point, I'm panicking like, oh shit, what did I do with my husband? You know what I'm saying? So then I'm walking in, I'm walking in, I say, and I'm saying, babe, 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 because that's what I do, child. When I can't find my man, I'm calling out. So he was like, uh, yeah. I said, oh, okay. And then she said, well, I guess he's in the back. You can go on back there. What? And I didn't want to ruin the experience for him. Ooh, let me close this up. I didn't want to ruin the experience for him because he was so excited to get his, you know, his little renaissance costume. But I'm like, well, dang, as much money was spent in there. And it just goes back to like I'm saying, what happened to customer service? Did she not think we were going to buy anything or, oh, y'all shaking. But anywho, um, his costume is, um, it's nice. You know, I mean, he picked it out and everything. So uh, I did end up getting a tiara uh, for buying and, um, do I want to show y'all my costume? I might, when I go home, I might show y'all my costume because I did Amazon um, the same day. So it should be at the home. If not, then I know it's coming before 10 o'clock tonight. So yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick little update, but this street is real raggedy, y'all. And I know my camera is um, bouncing up and down. So um, let me pick y'all up when I get home. God service, I really just mind my business. I pray that God sort of can't really be long. When did you talk that short money to make them bounce? So I mean it when I be like, what's this turn around? No, really turn around. I mean, I was getting bras way before I got the money. Honey. Lord, what is going on in Texas? Out what he's saying. Lord, let me show my door lock. Let me get a close up. Ah! 
hope his ass don't try to jump in front of them cars. Is he smoking? Is he vaping? Hey, um, I just want to jump on right quick um, to let you guys know that um, Platinum D announced on Facebook that she's having a, uh, a black party tonight. And baby, guess who going? Yes, we are going to Platinum D's Black Party tonight. And baby, let me tell you something. I got the perfect dress. I bought this dress last year when we were going to Baltimore and I needed um, a black dress. So I ordered a whole bunch of dresses from Fashion Nova, right? Like, I don't know what to do with these dresses, but I got the perfect dress I'm gonna wear tonight. So I'm trying to get home safely. I just got off of work. And yes, baby, I want the world looking like a bum today. A B-U-M, bum. I didn't care today. Like, I just need to get the day over with. So, um, I'm going to go home, head home, and get myself all cleaned up, and uh, get showered, and then go to her black party tonight. Um, I like Platinum D. She's one of the influencers that I usually watch a lot, because one thing I like about Platinum D is that she just, she's just real. She's authentic. She's just, what you see is what it is. I mean, she don't try to, you know, be something that, you know, people think that she should be, and because she's on a higher level, she should be acting a certain kind of whatever. But she's always been like down to earth and just like seemed really cool. And um, I love her content. I love her hustle and I love her drive. So Platinum D, you know, big ups to you. And if you guys um, will go ahead and follow Platinum D and yeah, subscribe to her channel. But yeah, she's amazing. So we're going to the black tie tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get myself home safely. I already called uh, my husband and baby, he already got his black ready, baby. He ready and locked and ready to go. So, but I don't know if y'all saw this morning. Man, why was this man on the corner? He was, he was talking to himself. Like, it was my car and then like two cars over, like two other lanes. Everybody was looking and trying to figure out who was he talking to? There was nobody across the street. Like, there was nobody. Like, he was talking literally to himself. And he was doing all kind of moves. I'm like, I hope this man don't try to jump in front of these cars. Especially me, because I got to get to work. And I need my job. And I cannot be delayed. No, sir. Cannot. But, you know, the light turned green. And, baby, I just went on. And I had to lock my door because I didn't know if he was on that funny stuff. And was trying to get into my car because he going to make me go back to them days, them 20s, them 30s. And she wasn't no joke. She ain't play around with you. That's all I'm saying. So, yep, so I'm almost at home. So, let me get in the house and uh, get my dress and get myself ready for the night. All right. So, you guys can see we are all dressed. Um, I didn't have time to really show you guys my dress because I was running late. I'm not even going to lie. I was running late. I have no jewelry on, nothing. I just, it is what it is. So, I'll be more prepared um, next time. But, like I said, it was a last minute thing and you know i told hubby hey you want to go and he's like yeah let's go so yeah i'm excited so i get to meet you know some influencers you know got to get out more i gotta start giving you guys more content Ooh, that sun got me glowing mm. Mm. I'm glowing. so i'll just get out you know meet more influencers in dallas because that was all, my ultimate goal is to do that and um bring you guys some new stuff i know y'all tired of me always going to target <laughs> I'm either in Target, I'm at Walmart, or I'm in the car talking about folks. But anywho, so yep, we are on our way, and um, once I get there, I'm going to pick you guys back up, and yay, I'm so excited!
see. It's just like they did not want any more than 20, 25 people here because it's a family owned operating business. One, they want to spend the last year or more. They want you all to get the full experience. So that's why I'm here, like, still on the RSVP. So. Spring in my heart, watching you go. I wanted to stop, though I already know it's been enough for you and me. Keep on saying the time will help. Keep lying just to me. So we are now at the event. I just got finished meeting Platinum D and she is just as beautiful as she is um, on her YouTube channel. So yeah, this place is very intimate. We're gonna be making our own perfumes and so we have to wait our turn. So because I wasn't sure what scent that I wanted to get, she uh, recommended a scent for me. So I'm excited about that. So let's take a look at the whole place. <laughs> hey there everybody, that is Platinum D and she is just as beautiful and she smells so good. She do. <laughs> I'm about to get her scent tonight. Yeah, okay. I Plan sure will. There you go. Make sure you guys um, tune into her channel. I'll leave a link below. And yeah, this is a very, very cute, cute, cute event. Everybody's so pretty here. Everybody's in their black and their gold. So yeah. So guys, we are at Amira Boom House of Royal Fragrances. And oh my God, it smells so good in here. Did y'all see Planet B? She was in her mind, guys. Oh, yeah. Things just think the same. The can't what's in front of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah. You know what it's called? Yeah, it's called um uh... Oh Summer Love. Summer Love, that's a good title. Now is everything here at the bar too? Oh, I don't know. But um we can make some I have an idea what I want to do this. This one smells really good. It was on the end over there, yeah. yep. That's it. That's not good.
Hey everybody, I met a new subscriber tonight, uh, Alfreda. Uh-huh, call me free. We call her free challenge. She ain't free for you now. Oh, no, I'm not. Come with the points or something. So yeah, so thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel. It's really nice meeting you. Yeah, we had fun mixing these plates. <laughs> you the one missed the other one, so yeah. I had to copy a little bit, y'all. So yeah, so again, thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel and Thank you, Sabi. Yeah, new Sabi. Oh my God, I got a new Sabi. Looks like I had to go home and change it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's you know, like, a little worked up. You're like, oh, God, I don't want to be late. I don't want to be late. I'm like, oh, you might as well stay here and go to work tomorrow. No, it's not in this dress. not in this dress. You both just came to the bar. Yes. 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 I can work with both of you at the same time. Okay. All right. Uh, let me start with a quick explanation to the first Over here we have our different bottles. If you want to mix your bond, you only do it with our medium size. Uh, 50 ml. Well, I'm sorry. Which one did you say? That was the very, uh, that was a nice one. That was going to be like this, right? Yes. yes. Okay. And then we have our category, uh, tricycle. Hey guys, who's there? Yeah. It's something I'm catching. What do you think? I like it, but I think it's my smell. You sure? It's 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 sure. But am I going to get the right direction? Yeah, yeah it's, it's like this one and this one are sort of close. Right. 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 It's a close second, but that one right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, perfect. Yeah. 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 Still hold that number yeah. one spot. <laughs> Smell this. Where you going? Yeah.
What's wrong? I'm just so excited. Like, I'm so excited. Okay. That over overpowering to you. Yeah, it is. I'm not crying, upset. I mean, not upset, but you. I got that shot. You's all emotional. Y'all. Why I look like a chocolate drop in here? Anywho, guys, we are just leaving the event, and let me tell you something. Platinum D, oh my God. If y'all think she's pretty on YouTube and her other channels, she is freaking gorgeous in life, and she smells amazing. So I did my scent, and she loved my scent hunting. And so now, oh, and I also met Shady Shay. Hey, Shady Shay! I met her too as well. I got other subscribers tonight, you guys. God is so good. I'm I'm excited. And this guy right here, that's my ride or die right there. He was right there in the trenches with me. So he got a scent too. So when we get home, I'll go ahead and open up my scent and let you guys see what I have. And, I've got, and I'm going to give you guys the notes as well. So, yep, tonight was a good night. It was so, I'm overwhelmed. I'm for clamps because... Oh, if I had some pearls, I'll be clutching my pearls right now. So let me get home, y'all, because I know I'm looking like a chocolate drop in this darn car and all this black around me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm still reveling in last night's glory. <laughs> but let me get up and um, get your boy outside. Come on. Let's go pee pot. Come on. Come on. Get Jersey out the Petey Pot. But yeah, but last night was such a blast, man. Let me tell you, there has been some great people um, in my way since doing this YouTube. Ooh, it's bright. Ooh, hold on, y'all. Hold on, it's bright. Since I've been doing this YouTube, um, my first influencer I've ever met was um, Ebony Ebo. Oh my gosh, shout out to Ebony. Wonderful lady. Um, I'm gonna be speaking with her again. Coming up. And then I ended up being the Platinum D. Oh my God, amazing. And then I've also met Shady, Shady Shay. Man, <laughs> Shay be cracking me up. <laughs> I met Shady Shay, so you know what? I think God is really looking out for me because I have been praying that, you know, he put me in environments where I could meet other people and, you know, just learn the craft and, you know, maybe ask a question or two. But last night was my first kind of like um, event that I've gone to in Dallas and I've always wanted to do events. And let me tell you something, when Platinum T put that announcement up on, I think it was Facebook, I think she had up like four minutes, baby, I'm, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm typing. So that was a great experience. Um, my husband had a great experience with that too last night. So today I have to go to, uh, uh, I gotta go get some blood work done um in a few minutes and then um i have to oh and then we have medieval today so i'm looking forward to that but y'all my costume ain't came yet and i'm trying to figure out what's going on let me go to my front door because i don't, I don't have my costume i know this ain't it is this it wait a minute y'all got a little box let me um open up this box right quick What's in this box? I know you lying. How my costume in this little bitty box? Yeah. Y'all, 
can't even. Well, I guess this is the back of it. I'm gonna have to look at the instruction on how to. Uh uh, don't get back at you. Uh uh, out. Um, on the instructions on how to um, lace it up in the back. But this is it, you guys. It's really cute. But um, it ain't giving no stretch. So that means as soon as I put this sucker on, we gotta run to the car right quick. That's okay because my husband can um, cool the car down because this sucker gonna be hot. So let me get up. I don't know why we go through this all day. He leaves. I let him go to the bathroom. The door is open. He goes in and out, in and out, in and out like a little kid. So let me get his breakfast together. Um, and then I can't eat right now because I have to still fast. And then I'm gonna pick y'all back up. But I just wanna come back and let y'all know it was a good morning and it was a good evening. So I'm gonna pick y'all up in a minute, y'all, because I know I'm looking busted and disgusted. But it is what it is. those for work.
Oh, here they are. guys so i am dressed i have on my dress from amazon it did turn out to be pretty nice but let me give you guys a um a full view all right so this is what the dress looks like and then um this is the back you can see that it's the back so what i did was um i took those little um shoes that you can stick in your purse like when your feet are hurting i'm gonna put these on and I did my makeup um, just simple and basic. And as you can see, it's just simple, basic, not a lot, because I don't know what they wore back in the day. And then for the wig, I just took the wig and just fluffed it out with a brush to make it nice and bushy. And then I have on my tiara. So we are getting ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and close up on the blinds and then um, turn the TV on for Jersey. And then we're going to be heading out. All right, guys, so we made it. Ooh, these shoes are super duper flat on my feet. I don't know if y'all can see them or not, but I'll show y'all when I get in there. So I got this dress on. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be. So it is kind of light. So there's hubby right there in this outfit. So we are just walking in. So yeah, guys, I'm kind of excited. I hope other people are dressed too, but if not, then oh well. This, this is just what we gonna do. So see you inside. Tell you something it was really fun though so we're gonna try to walk around front to get um 
some pictures in front if we can. If not, then. You know. oh, thank, you. thank you. He's been wanting to go for the last three years, right? Yeah. So I said, if you're going to go, you're going to go in the costume. Oh, yeah. And we picked That's it out. Right. Yes. And we did it. <laughs> I don't know if we can get in the front, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can't do it. Dang. I really want a picture in front. It's okay. Well, right, let's catch the next one. Yeah, let's go get in the car. Hey guys, it is much later. Um, as you can see, I am in my robe, and I wanted to stop by right quick just to say today, well, actually yesterday and today was just a great weekend. This is like one of the best weekends I've had in a long time and i do want to send shouts out to platinum d thank you so much for putting that invite out on facebook because baby within four minutes four minutes your girl responded so going to the fragrance house was amazing i've never been to a fragrance house before and it was the bomb and i made um my own fragrance now one of the fragrance i did it was called queen platinum and that is Platinum D's um, signature um, perfume. And let me get it out for you guys. And also too, for the perfume that I designed, um, I designed my own bottle. So let me tell you, let me show you Platinum D's um, Queen, this Queen Platinum. And this is the bottle right here, if you can see that. It is so pretty. And so this is made of Carmina, plus Born in Roma, Madawa, and Baccarat 540. So basically what this is, this is a combination of Baccarat and Creed. And baby, let me tell you something. This right here, top notch. So this is platinum scent and it smells really good. It's a very light, airy scent. It's not like heavy and jump in your face, but people will notice when you have it on. Now, the scent that I created, hey, but look at this bottle. Look at this bottle right here. Isn't that pretty? And my notes are Mojave Ghost, uh, Madawa Signature plus Delina Exclusive. Baby, this right here is amazing. It is amazing. So I'm very happy with the fragrances that I have because I wasn't a fragrance girl before, but now that I am a fragrance girl, and again, uh, we went to Amir Oud House of Royal Fragrance, and if you want to take a look at the bag right here, that's the name of it. It is located, um, I believe, in Richardson, Texas. It is a family-owned business, and it was small, it was intimate, and it was amazing. And also, too, there, I did meet uh, Shady Shay. I love Shady Shay. She is freaking hilarious, and she's just as pretty um, in person she is on camera so that was really great and so today um, I ended up we ended up going to medieval time my husband has been wanting to go for the longest I said you know what let me go and do it I found me some um, group discounts on retail me not so if you are not um, sign up for retail me not I suggest that you do because you can get some great discounts and so we went there tonight and I did make a comment early in this video I said I don't eat, you know, food at places where they have like animals. But let me go on the backtrack because I know y'all saw me eating. Now they did serve us chicken, corn, um, potato, and the beginning we had a tomato basil soup and a Texas toast garlic bread. Baby, they must have had Chef Leroy back there because baby, that food was on point. You hear me? That chicken was seasoned so darn good, and I don't know what they put on that corn, but baby, I ate that food. I ain't gonna even lie. I ate it and I almost ate all of it. It was so good. And my take on medieval times, it is a great family place to go. If you got kids, kids are going to love it. I mean, it's so much action, it's, it's colorful, um, it's engaging, and even as an adult, we have fun as an adult. And we did dress up, people were looking at us, and they were giving us all kinds of compliments, which that really made, made us feel really good. So, 
Again, thank you guys for tuning in into my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel and join the game because we all family here. And thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.